welcome Biblos family. Thank you for joining me tonight. I please accept my my apologies for not being my usual ebullient and happy self. I wrestled with what to speak about tonight and I, I don't believe I'm going to speak long because while coming to the studio, I received word that one of my dearest friends, Brother Ari Prado, has been um, rushed to the hospital. Apparently he's had a, he's had a heart attack. And it's not, it's not looking favorable for him right now. And so to, to come on and to do a podcast is nigh unto impossible. I thought about just foregoing it and, and doing something else. First of all, prayer. And I will request prayer. As a matter of fact, I thought to myself, what greater opportunity than to reach out right now to the Biblos family, to those that are out there that understand the power that is in prayer and ask you to help me pray. Pray for my friend. Pray for the great preacher that has blessed tens of thousands of people, that has helped countless people be edified, strengthened, renewed, that has planted a powerful church in the San Francisco and the Bay Area, and that has been a loyal compatriot, fellow laborer in the kingdom of God. He is a son of God. He has a wife. He has beautiful children. And so I'm asking you to help me pray. Tonight, this Thursday night, Help me pray. James chapter 5 and verse 13 says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he, if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. This is what the book of James tells us. We believe in prayer. If you are apostolic, if you are a believer in the mighty name of Jesus, then you know that when you speak that name of Jesus, there is healing, there's salvation, there's deliverance. In the name of Jesus. And so now, a great man of God who has given his all lies on a hospital gurney being sped through the California highways to a, a high end cardiac center because his body is not responding to treatment. And I'm asking the body of Christ to help me pray. Help me pray for my brother, for his sake for the sake of his wife, his children, his family, his loved ones, and, and, the, and the thousands and thousands that love him. This is why we do what we do. I, I know that Biblos is a podcast, and I know we talk about great things, and, and we plumb the depths of the, of the Word of God. We love the Word of God. You love the Word of God. But at the end of the day, we are apostolic Christians doing the work of God. And when the body of Christ unites in prayer, we can change things. We can alter the course of someone's life by calling on heaven. And so I'm going to invoke James 5 tonight. I'm going to take God at his word. I'm believing that God is going to touch my friend in his body. Sometimes it feels so helpless. I, I cast about in my mind about Maybe I could greet you tonight and, and talk about the Word of God, but then I thought, you know, I, this is not a time to, to push aside something that is so serious and something that is so life-changing. 
I'm not so stuck in my pattern and in the, the podcast world that we can't stop and take a moment and understand the gravity of the moment. Literally seconds count. Pray for the driver of the ambulance. Pray for the doctors as they receive him. Pray that God reaches right down into that ambulance and touches his body. Pray for his wife as she grieves and as she wrestles with the emotions that she's grappling with at the moment. It's time for the church to pray. It's time to to claim God's promises. God's promises are sure. God's promises are true. I have seen the Holy Ghost raise my grandmother up off of her deathbed. I've seen him raise my grandfather up, and I believe that he can raise my friend up. Your prayers matter. They count. God hears them. And so tonight, let's pray the prayer of faith. Find a place. If you, if you would, join us. Let's unite together as the body of Christ, and let's pray. Let's pray for a man of God that needs a touch from heaven right now. I don't have a great, some great word. Tonight I'm not, I'm not pursuing those, those avenues at the moment. I'm, I'm pursuing a lifeline to heaven and asking him, asking God to intervene on the behalf of a good man, a great man. The scripture is replete with examples where God stopped processions He entered into people's homes. He ministered to people at the most vulnerable. And his promises are yea, and they are amen. We are claiming those promises. We are believing his word. So my my greeting to you tonight is not a full Biblos episode. I'm not going to sit in front of this camera. I'm going to find a place to get alone with God, and I'm going to intercede on the behalf of my friend. I hope you'll join me. Let's pray. Let's believe God. And let's see what God will do. Until next time, God bless you. God keep you. And God cause his face to shine upon you.